Bugsy, I'm telling you, Sword Art Online would be so much better if I was in that character had a sex scene. For all we know, man, the light novel probably had happened. Probably not exactly like this, though. Kirito? Kirito, there wouldn't be no. If it was us, there'd be no ah. Uh. <laughs> and there would be pouncing. To put it, to put it blunt. Yep, basically. Anywho, you know, so Bugsy, you know, at some point when we get monetized, you're probably gonna have to take off some of those videos that basically tell YouTube to go fuck itself. I'm just saying, they don't e it's like they don't even care about all the other YouTubers that basically make their fucking, it's like, why, it's like, why did Google and freaking YouTube partner if they're going to get screwed in the end, you know what I mean? Yeah, then again, I don't think, I think maybe YouTube wouldn't have been this big without Google, but maybe. They just maybe it would be cool if we just had a little bit more freedom. We wouldn't be going to other websites to do our shit. Yeah, but this thing we we don't, and I don't think we will. You know, YouTube doesn't really fucking care. They wanna they wanna just. Oh my god. And Nintendo, I'm just surprised at you. These fans are inspired by you. <sighs> oh well. Ready? Oh yeah. Time out. We're a week away from PAX West, where we'll be crushing things with a 50,000 pound panzer. But I can't wait that long. I need to crush shit now. Let's do this. Ew. You know, you technically right. are bald in your ball hey guys, form. You are technically bald in your ball, in your ball form, on. So, uh, you know, maybe I might get some eggs. Bugsy, don't you fucking dare! Oh shoot, man! I told you to shoot! You gotta freaking believe me! Oh, you would never fucking shoot me, and you know it. Damn, you're right. Besides, besides, brother, you love me way too much to shoot me. Man, you're fucking, you know, you're fucking evil! It's not like I'm manipulating you, I'm simply stating a goddamn fact. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Hi, Brandon. I'm Clem. Bugsy, I'm just thinking, do we make a lot of drug re I mean, we only made a few drug references on our channel -y. a little bit. Then we did have a 420 special. Uh, I don't know. That's too deep in our freaking channel, so I don't think anybody's gonna find it. Oh, hey, who knows? Well, let's go hear about Nintendo being whiny bitches and the reason why Sega is better than you guys for for the moment. Because you know, Sega don't care about all these fan projects that fans are doing. They they welcome that shit. And it is a special PAX edition of Inside Gaming Daily. Uh, as you can see, we're at PAX. We're in Seattle, Hence you guys. the name of PAX. The game's to load. So, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I can't get mad about this. Yeah, yeah. You kind of have to protect your property at this point. Yeah, but you can get mad, If right? somebody, you can get mad. You can't, uh, you know, if somebody is making money off of your content, that's not yeah. acceptable. I mean... Yeah. Okay, you... listen to me, listen to me, tall chick. Most of these people aren't making money off of these games. They're just making them because they want to. They know they can't make money off of it. So, uh, excuse me for you to not, you know, like, again, 
Like most of you guys, you, they, here's the pulse. You guys are far from the pulse, and here's the pulse. Here's your thumb jammed straight up your ass. Say, would you like a chocolate covered pretzel? <laughs> Bugsy, for the love of God, why do you always seem to use that whenever you want? I, I don't use it often. I'm just saying. I just talk a lot about. I just talk that about news outlets that don't even know what the fuck is going on, but yet they feel like they need to say something. Like they are, they automatically. I love Machinima. I love Machinima and you know Inside Gaming Daily, but you know these guys don't know what the fuck is going on. Most of these people don't even make money off of their freaking games, off of these fan games because they know they can't. Nintendo's just freaking insecure that people are gonna buy, the, you know, play those games. And be like. No, it's our property. No. Now, if you guys don't even tell me what that really, if that is what it really is, trust me, it is. Bugsy, should we check Paper Mario Epic? Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bugsy, our pants. that hosts our games was hit by uh, DMCA by Nintendo and over 500 fan games were removed and this comes after the whole thing with the Metroid fan game no That's no <laughs> I tell me it ain't so tell me this is a dream why is it real <laughs> oh god no this is the only freaking this was the only. Uh, at least we only got a. At least we got our copy of freaking Starlight, you know, Starlight Worlds, early, right? You didn't erase it, right? I didn't. Is YouTube poop land still up? It better be. <laughs> oh god, I wanted to get the sequel, but I haven't beaten the first one yet. I should have gotten the sequel. <laughs> Damn you, Nintendo! I loved you once. We both loved you, Nintendo, you son of a bitch! Is this how you're gonna do us? We loved you! We supported you! And this is how you're gonna do the you this is how you're gonna do the the Chaos Bros, motherfuckers! We freaking We freaking supported you guys and our freaking let's plays are basically us telling the audience to fucking buy these games legally, you stuck! Ah, motherfuckers! Ugh. Bugsy, I'm so pissed. We supported these people, man. You know, even though we might get their games, you think we might? You, you think it's cool if we defect over to Sega? You know what? We just might. I, I'm like really thinking that right now. I mean, YouTube's going to shit right now, anyway. But I, but I don't think we should stop doing the Paper Mario. We should not do. We should not stop doing our Paper Mario uh, Let's Play series. We won't. Or Star Road. Not Star Road either. Or Mimeo. We need to. We need to finish Mimeo. Definitely with Nintendo and YouTube and fan games and all of that. So I guess we shouldn't have been too surprised, but still, this was a pretty big deal, and people weren't, weren't expecting this, especially since Game Jolt just recently started acknowledging fan games. They gave it their own section, that kind of thing. So, but now, yeah, we're dealing with the fallout of that right now. I'm trying to decide uh, where to host the game, if we do want to continue to host it, and where to create the pages for it. We're probably use the blog as the official pages again until something else comes up and they'll probably host uh, the downloads there or well, put the download links there they'll be Gigasoft we salute you because fuck this shit 
Literally, Bugsy. Fuck YouTube. Fuck Nintendo so hard with a razor blade dildo. They bleed out and we just go, what the fuck just happened? This is just, this is just too much, man. This is too much. Yeah, it really is, buddy. Nintendo. Okay, first YouTube. Do you guys understand you do all, you all, you need this? You need us? You need the big money makers to make you the moolah? So you could actually make like an adult here system like YouTube adult where we're, where we're cussing and swearing. I mean, there's already a YouTube kids, so why can't we just have a YouTube adult section? God dang. I mean, do that for us, you know? And you'll get the money you want. You'll get your money. You'll get your money, you filthy horse. Uh, but, let's see, what just happened? I don't know what the fuck you just did. <laughs> I think you just flipped to another, to an alternate life you may have had. Shit, I think probably I was a, I was probably a pimp or something, man. I don't know. <laughs> we hosted somewhere else, but yeah, until we figure that out, um, you won't be able to download Seven Sages, or Starlight Worlds, or play uh, Pokemon Star Heroes. So um, Pokemon yeah, Star Heroes, Heroes. what the crap? Yeah, I don't Pokemon. why Nintendo did it. It's a bit annoying for us to deal with, but. I'm not really mad at Nintendo, they're well within their rights, but I think it's much more important than what is going on right now is what's going to happen in the future, because... Yes, it's important. I mean, yes, they're in their right, but you guys work hard on these. Every fucking day. Y'all don't get money for this. You do this, you do this out of your own pocket, out of your own, the sweat of your own brow. And I just feel like Nintendo, I, other than, you know, been pulling out these cease and desist, you know, they should be looking at you guys and like, wait a minute, these motherfuckers made this, alright? Let's, uh, give them an internship or something. You know, something. Just something that acknowledges you guys actually working hard on what you're doing. Because, you know, Mock Off the Game is a parody within itself, I mean, to be quite honest. I mean, we're going to have a serious kind of story, but there's always going to be jokes, too. And, man, the work and effort we're going to put into that thing, like we did on Little Big Planet. I mean, if someone took that shit away from us, we'd be pissed. I mean, I understand you guys ain't mad, but I drug me. If me and Buzzy were in the same predicament, we would be pissed. We be ready to rip Nintendo a new one. We be ready to be like Reggie. Reggie, don't don't try to help. Don't try to save us. It is time. Our bodies are ready. And we be ready to fight Nintendo. <laughs> what if there was? What if we what if we were fighting Nintendo like a fucking war, right? And then we just I'm like we have one chance. Genesis does what Nintendo and like a whole bunch of fucking like Sega soldiers come out. <laughs> Holy shit, that'd be an actual console war. Like literally an actual console war. That'd be pretty cool. Then we're just here. Then we hear then like as they show up we hear do 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 we're like look at oh, we're like Sonic And then like the take a hard girl show up. <laughs> now, that'd be cool, that'd be cool. We, you know we should we should make a series like that. Be like in an alternate timeline and stuff, that'd be cool. But let's finish watching that video. Hey guys. And don't even get me started on Tommy with Souls, bitch ass. Oh. Hey, Tommy, why you gotta be such a dick? But Bunzi, how's his sex life? Who the fuck knows how his sex life is? He's probably fucking a ghoul. My blog to do that. But in the past, not many people know this, but C-Division's game, uh, 
Courage, Power, and Wisdom, his Zelda game, was hit by a DMCA when it was hosted on our blog, so we removed it from the blog. So I don't know if in the future Nintendo would go after smaller sites like us over Paper Mario and games like that. I mean, I don't I'm know just that. saying, all you do is the Gigasoft. Y'all did. Y'all have something better that they can. You guys have something that's better than most of the stuff that they even have on Paper Mario right now. Yeah, you're yeah, you really do. Color splash Color Splash sucks a booty hole. Big and a big hairy uh Wrinkly beagle nut sack because you know these people at intelligent systems need to be like forced to play like Paper Mario. I mean, look at this! Look at this! Huh? Look at this! Play with your freaking Frost Mario? I hope so. <sighs> Gigasoft, we hope you we hope you guys do your thing, man. Yeah, this is rough for every for every one of you guys, and not just Gigasoft. All the people who actually pour their heart and soul in these fucking games only for Nintendo to be like, nah, nah, you can't use this, nah, nah, you can use this, I'm gonna slap my penis against the wall. Okay, um, who's gonna slap whose penis against the wall? I have no idea. I just went along with it. <laughs> You're fucking weirdo. Let's just keep going. Let's just do our thing, man. Am I Bugsy? Also, we did we did the after Okay. Truth, I don't really care. Like seriously. You guys I mean, how hard is it just to tell them if you smoke your fucking lungs your fucking lungs will be non existent, you'll have cancer and or die. Like, seriously, you will die in the most horrible way. How hard is that? How hard is that, Truth? How hard is that? You don't have to freaking pander to them. Just tell them the fucking truth. The pink is true. Oh, God. Fuzzy, is that rabbit And stories that would be I'm scared. Welcome to the nightmare that is Mockbusters. Many cartoons will pay homage to an original piece of animation, like follow-ups from Toy Story. Then there's just these toys and budget imitation rip-offs that shamelessly... With my pocket part of it? Yeah. Oh, God. That poor man. And seriously, watch Fan Strider's video without us because it's really good. We just love doing it because you know we love to get this man, we love to get this guy some support. Not like he needs it, but it's good. To, it's good to help him out every now and again. One evil Brazilian direct DVD company intent on swindling every grandma in no. Bingo Studio. Where to start with Panda Fighter? We have music that's And there's one bear that looks kinda sexual and you know, you don't want to get, you're to get you're thinking about fucking the bear, you know? It's uh, dangerous. It's dangerous, scary, and spooky. It was never even considered for a second. Screw timing it, right? Just slam that kung fu panda look-alike. 
upwards of Spexon. Little Panda Fighter stars the moldy, heaping blob of CG known as Pancada. And in order for Pancada? Pancada Pan? Photoshop filters, Pancada turns his dojo into a disco. All the faces look very uncanny and strange. Ooh, 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 what are the faces? Because faces? Let's see the next one. What's up? This seems like a sitcom to up. What's up, man? What's the, what? the fucking house is up, man. That's what I'm talking about, boy. No. No. This is a PlayStation 2 game. This is a PlayStation 2 game. And it looks real bad. Terrible graphics. That would make me sad. Yeah, I'm so bored. I just want to take a shit on this movie. Just shit on this movie. And shit I will do. Taking a shit. Yeah, shit. Really quick. Taking a shit real quick. Will feel good. Feel good on my dick. That's freaking. That's gross. That's gross, huh? Shit's feel good on your dick, huh? Something like that, yeah. Nah, Mike Pollock's cool, man. Mike Mike Pollock is cool. He 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 isn't he isn't phased by this. He's embarrassed. I think he's like kind of embarrassed by it. I hear he told the dudes at uh find the computer room what the you know what was going on with that uh with Ratatouille. Like weird shit, dudes. Weird shit. Hey, if this is better than fucking Brave, I don't care. Like seriously, I, 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 would you if you had a chance to change your face, would ya? I'm like, kick, you're a fucking princess, and yeah, you're allowed to change your own fate, but you're gonna leave your mother as a goddamn bear, and your brothers as goddamn bears. How you, how you, do you even feel? Meredith, do you even feel? Combination of the animation universe is brought to you by Smita Maru from Mumbai. Now, when you see this, you may think you're looking up the nose of your local car wash guy, but it actually Emma? turns out we're looking at Kiara the Brave's eyesore of a city and her modernly dressed people, despite being set in the medieval times. And the wizard has a laptop because. What the fuck? He has an Alienware laptop. I see that shit. Dude, I see that shit. God dang. You look like the Alienware don't sue your, sue your asses and your balls. Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck? This animation is having a stroke, Bugsy. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But she doesn't actually seem to have that many appearances in the movie. Almost as though they were just capitalizing on another franchise. Stop. Surely never. They even rip off Jesus, too. That's just... Why is Jesus fighting a freaking octopus alien tentacle monster thing? This is weird. What the hell? Why is Jesus fighting a tentacle monster? Either way, these things 
You couldn't call your name, you couldn't call your studio something else. Jet lag productions also brings us such classics as Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, Hercules, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Jeebus, they've, they've really got this formula down pat, don't they? They just recreate the box cover for every single popular Disney movie and then put something resembling a cartoon inside it. After all, once they're playing it, they've obviously already bought it. This line looks like he, you know? I'm just gonna say it, I don't care what YouTube says, they look high! Look at the gear, it's like, yeah, man. I'm just gonna call it jet lag jungle we own that, we own that stuff. Yeah, Mowgli, why you got full lips like a chick? Possessed by a bizarre alien body snatcher. There's little to say about this one. Jet lag Jungle Book is essentially the I can't believe it's not Jungle Book that was universally banned as a visual poison by the FDA. And just to kick me twice in the nads, they make these poor voice actors sing their broken scripts out to assure that every child was screaming at their TV to stop. Come on, Bring Quedo. Leave, leave the Disney alone. Disney don't deserve this. I know they're corporate as fuck, but they don't even deserve this shit. Leave them be. You rate, you rate everything else. Just leave them be, Bring Quedo. Do something original. Uh, uh, oh, God. I see her face. The frog's like. The frog's like, I'll kill your family, motherfucker. You know, you know they call me, they call me, they call me, they call me boss frog. You don't even want to know. The fucking chilliest frog on the block, motherfucker. And I just see the mother, I just see this frog like brandishing a goddamn knife like he's about to stab one of us. Oh, sweet Jesus. Is doing is popular as egg man. Let's go get him. What do they do? do? I got one thing to say to this. Ah! I got another thing. I got a thing to say to this. No! Oh, shit! No! 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 Why, God? Why? That's all we gotta say to this. You'd be bothered to animate a flag flickering for more than two frames. Little Princess School attempts to capitalize on what else? The Disney Princess Market. All of the princesses go to Princess School so they can learn to be beautiful. That doesn't even make legitimate sense in a sentence. 
If your third grade teacher heard you using that kind of grammar, you'd get a severe talking to after class. Produced by Morningstar Entertainment. Yeah, you I'd would. like to once again say that the most fascinating parts of these movies are the bizarre names of the companies churning them out. This time the creators just said, screw it. Maybe if we stick something resembling the princesses in one movie, surely someone's bound to mistake one of them for the real thing. I think even the criminally insane could turn the difference between this Disney princess and the flat-faced garbage pale imitation princesses we have here. I'm like scared. Did you stutters about and the voice acting to look into your soul man universe to the actual animation occurring did that mouth even move no halfway it's even the a fuck, bad man? mostly about the princess's strange foreign awkward alien methods to get guys to kiss them does the demographic for Little Princess School even know what a kiss is? I'm not quite convinced the writers knew what a kiss was. What the fucking hell? Don't you mess with my jingle bells. Alright, we'll fucking shoot. Don't make me fucking do it, man. I'm really close to doing it. <laughs> don't make, don't make us go into the sleigh. Throwing you, throwing you little monsters out as we fucking scream the animation on no shit and as we go in their studios and and beat them thusly in the head we go what the fuck are you doing do something else instead oh bootleg anime boot I mean bootleg animation why do you exist why do you make me and Bugsy so pissed oh. Bootleg anime, bootleg, bootleg animation, why do you do this? I really, I kind of want to, I can't use the other line because, you know, but I want to beat you. I got this shit that rhymes. It's either cut your fucking, you know, cut your fucking rest or punch you in the dick. But either way, it's you know what? Punch you in the dick. Jingle bells, right? Freaking jingle bells. That's on par with botching up Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Okay, we've been subjected to enough. Make it stop! Make it stop, Phantom! Please. <laughs> Coherent English sentences. The lips will 
flicker along from frame to frame, in no way attempting to actually match the voices. Characters will randomly glitch up on screen and jump from one place to another, and it just goes on and on. Completely irrelevant, uninteresting... Don't play that, you should be ashamed of yourselves. ...that all ages will enjoy. Stated by the blind, deaf hobo from down the road we pay to Hamburg. Little and big monsters? What the fuck? I didn't like the look of that thing. Tappy Toes? I might actually look at that. Frozen land? No, they didn't. No, no you fucking like didn't. Oh, wait, yeah. Actually, they didn't get away with this one. Braver. They took Brave, and they added an R. Brilliant. Give that man a million dollars. Give that man a million dollars, and the vine, and, and the freaking, and a freaking Venus flytrap blow drop, he deserves it. Again, this is something on the PlayStation 2, and that's an insult to the PlayStation 2 because I love the PlayStation 2. All colors resemble bodily fluids, and the animation is traumatizingly bad enough to make Samurai Seppuku seem like a viable option. Welcome to A Car's Life. A Car's Life was made by one guy, most likely in a sweatshop while he was drunk. And notably, he was so ashamed of this car's monster that it is nearly impossible to find a single trace of Sparkplug Productions on the net. There really is no grasp of character personality, stories, stakes, or even a basic grasp of the English language in this animation black hole. Uh-oh, it's getting late. I know it's the middle of the day, but I can only be bothered to animate one frame in the sky. There is one music soundtrack. Just one. It's about 10 seconds long, and it is just awful. And A Car's Life contains a voice so ear-piercing, so wretched, that it actually gives Fred and Annoying Orange a run for their money. They're still worse, but this voice is a close second. Because a car is a little different doesn't mean uh, a car. Could we not have possibly done that? Yes! This pink abomination of nature cut to pieces. Though, as if to give one final middle finger to the director, even her death cry sounded unconvincing. <laughs> yes! is the most disastrous dump on an already bad movie I've ever seen. Oddly enough, though, I actually kind of recommend it. It's only 40 minutes, but it truly has to be seen to be believed. I recommend you check it out with a friend and have a few quick laughs. We used to get these mockbusters a lot back in the day, but I think it's important to clarify every single one of these studios went bankrupt. The odd thing is that a lot of these movies didn't fool grandmas. And besides, these mockbusters show just how high our standards for animation are nowadays. Many of us are trying harder than ever to give the next generation the best cartoons possible, and I think that really shows. Do you think I missed a bad animated mockbuster? If you have an opinion, feel free to leave it in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. No problems, Phantom. That, but that stuff was like, why? These people don't know what to do. And I think it's apparent that we all need a break.
Ya no está el flanco. Bugsy. Oh, wait a minute. What? What? Is that what I think it is? No, 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 you can't, no, 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 dude, you can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. You can't, you can't, no, 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 that was bad. You can't, you can't be doing this to me, no. I'll rip out your head, shit down your neck. <laughs> oh God! Yes! Yes! Is this like new or they just re released it? I don't care, Duke Nukem! Classic Duke from modern, pla modern platforms. It's plus. Oh god! Yes! New, new Duke Nukem! <laughs> yes! Yes! I'm going to cry. <laughs> I don't care what anybody said. I love Dude Nuka Forever. I know it wasn't the best thing in the world. But god dang, it's the only thing. And yeah, they're doing a classic dip. So everybody, are you happy? Because I sure am. And if anybody has anything to say about it, I will fucking cut their nuts off. Take it down a bit, Bugsy. I know you're excited. Sorry. 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 Just overcome with joy, man. I, this, this day kind of sucks. But it's made better with the fact that we know that there's a new Duke Nukem coming out. I feel good. Even though I'm going to be dealing with another thing in a few hours from now. But we'll do, well, I'll, I'll deal with that, but let me just enjoy the fact that Duke Nukem 3D is actually happening, and it's a new thing, and it's cool, but let's look at that again. Plus, all new eight level episodes with. You're gonna get it. Yes, I don't care if it's a compilation, but if it has new episodes, I don't give two shits. I'm getting it. I wanna cry. Oh, God, this is so beautiful. I wanna cry. Yeah, watch, probably a bunch of people are negative and shit. Dude, I'd vote for Duke Nukem, like, I would seriously don't know what his platform is, don't know what his politics is, but I know Duke Nukem would fucking destroy you-know-who. Hairpiece that shall not be named. He probably seduce Hillary, he probably seduce Hillary, too. Be like, be like, I got, bo I got balls of steel, how about you leave Bill Clinton and get with this? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, think about that. 
if Duke Nukem was real, Bugsy, like, we'd vote for him. Everybody else would be like, what the fuck? Why are these two dudes voting for him? They're like, because he's the motherfucking king. Why wouldn't we? So, what we're trying to say is, hell to the king, baby. Anyways, let's get the crap out of here, Bugs. Yes, before reality crushes our minds and our souls. I'm not trying to be dark or anything, but, you know, today was kind of, well, bad. But, I feel pretty good now, so, well, I'll see you guys later. Bye, folks, and also, check out, um, check, go to our official Facebook. We have, uh, new videos out, so, you know, check those out before we get out of here. Just, we're gonna leave a little description down below, and, you know, have some fun, guys. It's, you earned it. You earned it. it you made it. You made it. Like, everybody who's back in school, you made it. You earned it. You earned a little... You earned a little something to just watch and relax. I hope you can. Um, just, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye, folks.